fathers, brothers, sisters, provincial superiors, representatives of different religious congregations and communities, representatives of Maila San, Yuva San, Sabha, ladies and gentlemen. It is with immense pleasure that Archbishop House, along with CRI, extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you gathered here today. We are thrilled to have you all amongst us. Your presence is adding an immense value to this event. An event to honor our shepherds, His Excellency, Felix Loco SJ, and most kind reverend, Chodro Master and SFX, for their immense contributions, dedications, commitment in the service of Archie's Diocese. Their individual achievements are remarkable and as a team, a source of inspiration for many, a team of extraordinary vision and a lighthouse of wisdom and knowledge. Their dedication and commitment have to be set a benchmark of excellence for the local church. On such special occasion, Asabika Hadi Swagat, Saman, Adar, Abhinandan, Abhar. We are looking forward to an enlightening and impressive event ahead. Now, now may I invite Father Asok Sandilian and his team to lead us into prayer. Felix of SJ, your lordship, you know, mustered us as a thanks. Respected Mother General, Provincials, fathers, brothers, sisters, parents, friends, and well wishers. Good evening. Good evening. The procedure of this Thanksgiving prayer service is as follows. First, an introduction to the theme. Second, a video clip on the mission of Archbishop Felix Tropo SJ in Ranchi Archdiocese, followed by a short felicitation note. Third, a video clip on the mission of Bishop Theodore Masperinus, SFX, in Ranchi Archdiocese, followed by a short felicitation note. Fourth, a video hymn with a scripture passage from Ezekiel chapter 34, verses from 11 to 16. Sixth, prayers and petitions. Seventh, a common prayer, and eighth, a concluding thanksgiving hymn and blessing by His Grace, Felix Topo SJ. The theme of this prayer service is ever on the move to love and to serve. Introduction to the theme. The Holy Bible is filled with stories of people called to move to new places. Abraham and Sarah, Mary and Joseph, Paul and Barnabas, Priscilla and Aquila, and so on. Filled with uncertainty about what lay ahead, these people of God could not have found their moves easy, yet they were excited, trusting that God was calling them and guiding them to a new place. Our beloved shepherds, Archbishop, Felix Topo SJ, 
and Bishop Theodore Mascarenas SFS are leaving us and going to a new place, a new home and a new church. We ask God's blessings upon you dear shepherds as we lift our hearts in prayer today. Today marks a significant moment in the life of our esteemed Archbishop Felix Lopo S.J. and Bishop Theodore Mascarenas SMS as we gather to bid them farewell. This is a time of mixed emotions as we reflect on their remarkable journey filled with dedication, compassion and unwavering commitment to their calling. Now we have a video clip on the mission of Archbishop Felix Topo SJ in Ranchi Archdiocese followed by a felicitation note for him.
Dr. Grace and Bishop Felix of OSG. Throughout your tenure, you have exemplified the virtues of humility, <coughs> kindness, and profound faith. Your leadership has been a guiding light, illuminating the path for countless souls, <coughs> seeking solace and spiritual guidance. Under your stewardship, our church has flourished and reached by your wisdom and grace. Your tireless efforts in fostering interfaith dialogue, promoting social justice, and advocating for the marginalized have, have left an indelible mark in our hearts and minds. Your deep empathy and compassion have touched the lives of many offering comfort to the afflicted and hope to the down children. As we embark on a new chapter in your journey, we are filled with gratitude for the profound impact you have had on our lives, on our church community. Your legacy will continue to inspire generations to come, reminding us of the power of faith, love, and service. <clears throat> Though we bid you farewell with heavy hearts, we take solace in knowing that your spirit will always remain with us, guiding and uplifting us in times of need. May the road ahead be filled with blessings, joy, and fulfillment. Your grace on behalf of all those whose lives you have touched. We extend our heartfelt thanks and best wishes for your future. May God continue to bless you abundantly as you embark on this new chapter of your journey. Farewell, your grace, and may your legacy continue to shine brightly. For now we have a video clip on the mission of Bishop Theodore Mascaradas SFX in Archdiocese of Ranchi, followed by a felicitation <laughs> note for him. <coughs>
Joseph, Bishop Theodore Mascarenas, SFX. You have been a beacon of light throughout your tenure, guiding our community with unwavering faith, compassion, and integrity. Your dedication to spreading the message of love, peace, and justice has touched the lives of countless individuals, inspiring us all to live lives of purpose and meaning. As an advocate for the marginalized and voiceless, you have tirelessly championed the cause of social justice, embodying the teachings of Christ and exemplifying the true essence of servant leadership. Your passion for building bridges of understanding and unity among diverse communities has brought hope and reconciliation to many. Your leadership has not only strengthened our faith community, but has also left an eradicable mark on society at large. Your unwavering commitment to serving the needs of the poor, the oppressed, and the vulnerable has been a source of inspiration to us all. As you bid farewell to us, we are filled with gratitude for the profound impact you have had on our lives and our community. Your wisdom, kindness, and unwavering faith have enriched us beyond measure and your presence will be deeply missed. As we embark on this new chapter of your journey, we offer our heartfelt thanks and best wishes for the future. May God continue to bless you abundantly and guide you in all your endeavors. Faith, your leader, your Lordship, and may the light of your legacy continue to shine brightly wherever you go. We gather here today with a series of both gratitude and Peter's sweet emotion as we come together for the farewell thanksgiving prayer service in honor of our shepherds. Today marks a momentous occasion in which we express our deepest appreciation for the unwavering leadership, compassion and spiritual guidance that our shepherds have shared with us, especially with the church in Ranchi. This prayer service is not merely a goodbye, but a profound expression of thanksgiving for the shared journey we have experienced under their dedicated stewardship. It is an opportunity for us to come together in prayer, reflection, and gratitude, acknowledging their impact on our spiritual lives and the growth of our faith community. May this time of thanksgiving be a testament to the love and appreciation we hold for our departing shepherds, and may it serve as a source of inspiration for the continued journey of our faith community. Let us now enter into this farewell thanksgiving prayer service with open hearts and minds, seeking the divine guidance and blessings that will accompany our shepherds in their future endeavors. May our time together be filled with the grace and presence of the Almighty, who is 
all in all. Now we have a video hymn under the theme You are my all in all. <coughs> passage from the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verses from 11 to 16. Reading from the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verses from 11 to 16. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I, I myself will search for my seed 
and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when he is among the sheep that have been scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. And I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the ravines and in all the inhabitants' places of the country. I will feed them with good pasture and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their gazing land. There they shall lie down in good grazing land and on with pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I myself will make them lie down declares the Lord God. I will seek the lost and I will bring back the strayed and I will bind up the injured and I will strengthen the weak and the pride and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them in justice. The word of the Lord. Let's pause for a short personal reflection. Strength 
to discern your unique purpose for them amidst the noise of the world. For this we pray to the Lord. Prayer for political leaders. Let's pray for our political leaders today. May God grant them wisdom, courage, humility, and genuine concern for the welfare of all citizens. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now I request all to recite this prayer together. <coughs> Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, we bid farewell to our beloved shepherds. We come before you with hearts brimming with gratitude for their treasured time shepherding our flock and guiding us with wisdom and compassion. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts and talents you have bestowed upon them. Through their leadership, they have touched the lives of many, inspiring faith, fostering unity, and exemplifying the love of Christ. We are grateful for the countless ways they have served your people with dedication and humility. As they embark on a new chapter of their journey, we pray for your comforting blessings to accompany them. Bless them with a profound sense of purpose and grant them the strength and courage to face the challenges that may come their way with unwavering faith. May they find joy and fulfillment in the next phase of their ministry, knowing that they carry our prayers and best wishes with them. Lord, we also lift up the Archdiocese of Ranchi that they leave behind. May it continue to grow in faith, love and charity. We entrust our shepherds to your loving embrace, asking for your protection and guidance in all their endeavors. May they be a beacon of your light wherever they go, continue to spread the message of love and hope. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we have a concluding hymn. Let's sing together.
his grace, our bishop, the next of us, to give us the final blessing. Kindly rise. First of all, thank you very much for organizing this very beautiful, very solemn Thanksgiving prayer service. May the Lord bless us, bless all of us. Let us say the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. First and foremost, I thank God the Almighty for all His choice blessings and graces upon us on this day. I feel greatly honored to thank Reverend Father Asuk Sandy and his team for conducting a meaningful prayer and fitting prayer service and leading us to raise our mind and vote and pray for our beloved bishops. I also thank Father Walter, Ms. Kutta and his team for video presentation on the ministry and vision of our beloved bishops. Thank you, fathers and sisters.